there's been a bit of discussion on the Facebook group about heart rate and heart rate for particularly heart rate for harder high intensity interval sessions where um, it doesn't go up as uh, into the zones that are associated with the session so for instance if you're doing one minute efforts you might be working well above your threshold power or pace but your heart rate may not go above uh, above your uh, your uh, anaerobic threshold and that's just because your heart rate takes time to rise and if you're having a reasonable length of recovery which you would do for very hard high intensity intervals training your uh, your heart rate will, will drop back down and then and then never go up above that um, possibly not even above your threshold heart rate so we can have a look at uh, a few sessions and uh, so that we can illustrate this we can start by looking at one minute efforts so if you look at the power zones I, mean, I know a lot of you don't train with power but it's just a way of illustrating that uh, the power is how hard the session is so you can see here that with the power zones on this uh, effort is way above uh, the threshold which is the dotted line but if we look at heart rate zones you can see that uh, it's hard quite hard to see but the uh, you can see that heart rate's not really going above much above the threshold and if you look at the without the zones you can see that the heart rate's continuing to rise which i think is which has been an observation of uh, someone during the week on the Facebook group and if you um, because it's above um, threshold effort intensity that your heart rate, heart rate would still continue to rise even if you did a longer effort so it would never stabilize and therefore it's very difficult to use a target heart rate for high intensity or uh, shorter efforts uh, just because it never stabilizes but what you can do is just work as hard as you can and also check the recoveries because the, your heart rate should be coming down. If your heart rate stops coming down between the recoveries, you're probably not getting enough recovery because the idea of interval sessions is that you work hard and then recovery so that you can uh, maintain a high intensity. So if you notice that this uh, that you're not recovering between the hard efforts, you may want to take a little bit more recovery. So you can see this from the longer efforts in this uh, interval session. It's quite similar, but these are three minute efforts. So this is three minutes on, three minutes off which would be a session that aimed at your uh, VO2 max power, so well above uh, your uh, threshold, your FTP. And if you look at the power zones, you can see that it is a good bit above the threshold, which is a dotted line. And then you can look at the heart rate zones. Well, you can see the heart rate here. You see the heart rate is continuing to rise throughout the effort. So you can't really use heart rate for this effort either. And that's not because it's too short an interval, too short an effort it's because it's too high in intensity so you want to be getting above your uh, you should be getting above your threshold heart rate which you can see that it, it, the heart rate rises slowly and then goes above the threshold in, in the efforts so that shows that it's uh, getting above threshold but um, how high how much above threshold it goes really depends on the length of the effort so if you were doing five minutes on five minutes off it would go higher than if you're doing three minutes on three minutes off and uh, if you're doing five minute efforts you might be getting quite close to your maximum heart rate but you don't do that in a, in a three minute effort but if you are doing threshold type intervals efforts so that's around about your functional threshold power you can see that these are eight minute efforts and that this quite a common session that we use is three four or maybe even five if you can handle it eight minute efforts and these are round about the threshold power or your threshold pace and, and you don't need to worry about whether you're using a power meter here I'm still like I said using the power data to illustrate the intensity of the effort so if we show the zones you can see that the uh, powers are right on the threshold power and if you look at your heart rate zones they're right on the threshold heart rate and they're in that threshold training zone so that means that you can, uh, you can. This athlete's got some, got the zone set differently to um, to what we usually use. We use the usual the five zone model for, from Andy Coggan. So what you would find is that you'd be in your zone four, which straddles the threshold, and the heart rate for most of the efforts is in that zone four. So that's a quick overview of heart rate and why 
um, why it can't be nece isn't necessarily a great guide for shorter efforts and also if you're doing uh, intervals above your threshold where you want to get above your threshold heart rate your heart rate st should still go above your threshold heart rate but the average heart rate may not be above the threshold heart rate just because the length of the interval the heart rate um, is dependent on how long the interval is and it will continue to rise if you're working above your heart anaerobic threshold it will just keep rising until you slow down or you and uh, basically because you can't sustain that type of pace you have to slow down at some point after maybe five or six minutes or depending on how intent how much above that threshold um, power you're working so that that's just i just wanted to explain that and hopefully it's useful to you